Neither kings nor queens nor royal marines, but twenty-eight thorn brass, brass before and brass behind, never feared a foe of any kind. Shoulder up. Right then, hopefully a short video on uh, the newish setup. So. Volkswagen T4, T5, sorry, hasn't changed. Um, three seats in the front and then, well, ability to put two seats in the back. But as you can see, it's got a Fox wing awning on it now. Uh, set up specifically just so it, uh, well, you'll see inside what it's like. But, uh, there we go, that's that. And then at the front there, got 220 watt solar panels, and it's quite a cloudy day, as you can see. And I'll show you what sort of wattage it's bringing in. It's the other side of the uh, Fox Wing, and then you've got the RV5, the Oz10 RV5 on the on the side there. That is me 10k solar panel for the hubby lighting system. And then, so let's have a look. That's the, uh, that's the sort of the Oz tent up to there. And what I've done is I've put the one of the wings from the Fox wing over the top there. And it gives me a bit of stop the, the gap. Um, front wall missing, just two of us this weekend, you'll have to excuse the mess. And then uh, coming around here, that's the kitchen area, that's the sort of kitchen I've been working on for quite a, quite a while now. It uh, all folds down into a box. Like everybody else, I've copied it from other people that are on YouTube. We've got all my utensils hanging up there. Again, all the stuff in the back of the van. But the back of the van allows me so I could I could throw a mattress up there. Or uh, you know, just live out of it. Got the fridge running, that's been running for a couple of days now. And then if I go down here, got the solar setup, which at the moment is pumping out. Yeah. Um, emergency light down there that's uh, normally on charge, solar charging kit, solar controller, emergency cut out and stuff like that and then I've also got because it's handy to have something as an emergency sort of floodlight the area if you like so if I just tap that button there and I'll show you, watch your eyes, I'll put it up there so you don't have to look straight at it. There you go, and as you can imagine, LED. But this has been running for, what, two days now? And as you can see, depending on where the cloud cover is, it's fluctuating a little bit, but... The two panels in there are doing well. And uh, what's that on there? That's a thousand watt inverter. If I'm honest, very rarely use it. Got a fridge slide here. Discovered it's really in the wrong place for me. Hence the fridge is on the floor. And then we've got mess, back of the van's a right mess, but the panel here just to uh, so I can rather than just throwing everything in the van. But yeah, I've been away for two days, three days now. Um, ran out of gas on that one. But uh, still using the Weber, which is uh, rather nice for cooking on. And then I had to bring out the backup. So I can't go without my tea, as you can see. Got all the essentials. And uh, just having a, a weekend testing setups this has been the sort of the third setup 
but yeah, I'll probably do a, a video on that fridge because it's uh, served us well. But hopefully, you know, the van itself gives us loads of options. The van's been through, I don't know how many metamorphoses is. But uh, it's uh, what I like now. I like to have options rather than just using it as one different thing. You know, I can always take the Foxwing down and drive off if need be. Anyway, I hope you found that of interest. And uh, I'll tag this on to the end of uh, the setup itself video. Cheers. Guys, one thing I didn't mention uh, is just a nice little touch really for me. A uh, little remote control LED setup. So it gives me, and it's less than 20 quid all in. All runs off 12 volts. Did a little bit of uh, cutting myself, but you can see on that, especially around it, around the kitchen area, really lights up uh, the area. And if you want to really be flash, you have a bit of a disco. But uh, you know, and you can have it sort of doing all sorts of stuff if you want to. But I'm a boring old fart, so well, yeah. And uh, that's the little controller there, the IR controller that picks everything up. And it, uh, as you can imagine, this is all flexible stuff, so it's all um, easy to use. And it rolls up and takes up little room, very little room at all. Got a, an on-off cut-out cut-off switch there. I've just adapted it and put a, a 12 volt plug on it there. Hopefully you can see that. So there we go. Anyway, that's the bit of the, the setup I didn't show you. And again, all running off my uh, solar. So there's no problem there. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, I'll just turn that off. One thing I didn't mention, the solar's running off three 110 amp power batteries. All uh, linked up together. Cheers. If you are thinking of a holiday on the canvas this year, wait. It surprise me if we didn't have a drop of rain. You had to open your big mouth. We might be able to help you decide to carry on camping. I knew I shouldn't have eaten those radishes.